four spots. You, you hammered that out a little bit. We got them all written on a piece of paper. We're drawing them out of a hat come Friday <laughs> night. Um, no, we have uh, Scott Effer also go Friday night. Um, Christian Morris on Saturday and Jake Kells will go Sunday. So that's kind of the way we've lined it out right now. And a lot of great options. We still have some guys in there that, you know, once we start playing midweeks, it'll it'll jump to them. But that's what we're going to go with first weekend. Do you feel this team's where you want them to be at this point? Or are they ready to start the season? We are ready. You know, the, the, the winter's been great in terms of the weather. So we don't have any snow on the ground. We've been outside. We're I worry we're almost over ready because we're, uh, we're so ready to play somebody else. So we're uh, the team's ready. How close are you to sight on the corner half field and uh, corner infield spots right now? Uh, we're close. We have a couple. Um, we just have some different options there. I mean, Brian Wilhite and Isaiah Pasture will both switch off and on at third base and, and play. Um, Logan Sowers will be in right field probably a lot. But we have some options there. We can move some guys around. And then first base is Craig Didalos had a really good fall and or spring training too, and Austin Cangelosi also. So we kind of we have some options. We'll kind of match up there. It's kind of what you'll see. So we'll depending on who's pitching or what part of the game. We have probably 12 or 13 that got a chance to play every day from a position player standpoint. Pretty good staff to face right away out yeah. there. Yeah, thank you, Tracy you. Smith. You're right. That was a good one I got left. No, and we're, we're ready. We're, we're, we're ready to go. Um, it's kind of neat how it's probably scheduled a couple of years ago, and then, you know, you get to play them again to start the season. But they do. They have a great pitching staff. They're known for their pitching. And, and that's our big one of our biggest challenges that first month of the year is we run into a couple of really good pitching staff. So we're going to have to – you know, we worked a lot today just on the inside game and, and trying to manufacture some runs. And, and, you know, we like our staff too, so we feel like we match up there. Sowers got some uh, recognition, I guess, the other day, uh, a Big Ten preseason freshman year kind of stuff. Hey, what, what, what ways, I mean, what, what's kind of his ceiling as a freshman here with you guys this year? He's got a chance to be really good. Yeah. You know, he's still a freshman, so I never like to get too high on the freshman. But he's a uh, very talented, I mean, he's just a big, physical, athletic kid who's got a chance to hit with some power, and he's got a feel for the game. I mean, he really, that's what's put him ahead with us, is he's a pretty good defender, pretty good base runner, and, and he's really, you know, he's had some big hits for us in our scrimmages. I know it's hard to really gauge it without actually playing games, but how, how do you feel like the guys have adjusted to maybe playing a little bit smaller um, with, you know, running the base pass a little bit more? You know, we, we've been fine. We just don't – nothing's really changed for them a lot except that we don't have a – we're not hitting as many home runs. You know, um, you know, you play a team like Stanford, they do a great job with the running game. So we to say we're going to run a lot. It's, you know, we're just going to try to maximize what we can. But we've, we have tried to do the bunting and, and stuff like that. And that's been one of our areas that probably, um, you know, trying to grind out the bats a little bit more, trying to put balls in play a little bit more because we don't have that – We'll hit with some power, and I hope that new ball helps us. You know, we we got some guys in our lineup that can swing it, but probably not as many as last year with losing those couple guys. How excited are you just personally to get in that first game as a head coach at IU under your belt? Yeah, it's good. I'm real excited. I think it'll be um, – I'm ready to get there and play. And there's been a lot of preparation, so to get out there and just get the team on the field and, and just relax and let them guys go. I mean, I, we've talked, talked to the coaches. It's, you know – we work our tails off in practice, but once we get there, it's, you know, let those guys run out there, and I want them to play free. I want them to play, you know, tension-free and, and play the game as hard as they can, and then we'll wake up the next day and play the next one as hard as we can. What did you see out of Frost to make, give him that Friday nod? You know, he went out. Um, obviously, he's had a great career to this point. Um, he went out to the Cape this summer, and I think that really helped him. He was an all-star out there in the Cape Cod League, and when he got back here this fall, his first run was in the last inning he pitched at the end of the fall that he gave up. So um, very competitive, very athletic, um, just doesn't give up a lot of free stuff. Um, and, you know, his stuff is good. So that's what we, you know, in that point, just that's what you need on Friday night. The guy's going to go out there and give you a quality start, and we feel like he's the guy to do that. What do you think about the new ball? Is that something you guys have been using all winter long? Or? You know, we jumped out and used it early in the year. And um, when the weather's nice, and even today's nice, but it's still 40, um, when the weather was, you know, in the fall, the ball jumped a lot, you know, a lot more. Um, it hasn't done as much, but I heard that from everybody in the Midwest, just the colder temperatures, it just doesn't jump as much. But I think it's going to make a difference at the end of the year. I think you're going to see some more doubles, some more home runs, um, especially when the weather turns warm. Um, Matt Frost and Kells were two of the top relievers last season. So who's going to step into that more seven, eighth inning role this year in the bullpen? Well, we still got Luke Harrison back, who was first team all league reliever. And then we get Ryan Halstead back, which is a big, he's been really good in our spring training. We're excited to bring him back at the end of the game. And then we just have a, we have a bunch of guys. I mean, that, you know, Thomas Belcher, Austin Foote, Evan Bell, um, 
and some of our young kids, we have two, a couple of the young guys that have been really good in our spring training. So the first couple weeks, we only played three on the weekend. So we got a whole staff to pitch those three games. So, uh, you know, we feel like we got enough guys in there. Will Donley be the DH or in the outfield? Or do you not know yet? If you were here early enough, Donley caught a ball and went over the wall today. So <laughs> I'm playing him in left field on uh, – Donley's going to play left field. And uh, may come out late, but he's actually played it really well. And, and, you know, I had an experience last year. We had a kid very similar to, to Scott, uh, Jeff Gardner there, and he ended up being All-American, just getting a chance to play every day. So I'm hoping Scott does the same thing. So that would be nice. But he's uh, he's earned it to this point. He's, he's, well, he's played really well out there, and we're going to get him. It lets me do more things with the DH because we got guys like Ricky Alfonso and some of the other guys I mentioned earlier that I can get into the lineup and make us a little better offensive team. You guys have been spreading around that yellow jersey. I think it was, was it Ramos wearing it again today? Or? No, uh, Macy Holdsworth, freshman, okay. had it. So we were inside. But, yeah, we've been bouncing the yellow jersey around. And, and that's maybe the best thing about our team is we're, we're, knock on wood, we're a really good defensive team. I think we do a lot of things defensively with Ramos and Rodrique and Will Height and, you know, some of those hard tongs got a chance to be a, you know, above average defensive catcher, you know. So we got some guys. We do some really nice things in that area. So they've taken to the yellow shirt. Yeah.